this is Jasmine, the founder of Fivo Kids Art Academy. Today we're going to be drawing Woodrow Wilson, the president. So as always, we want to start off with an oval for our face. And the eyes are going to go about halfway down the face. And today we're going to draw the face turned a little bit three quarters view. So instead of putting it right in the middle, we're going to put it a little to the left. Okay. So our nose is going to go halfway between the eyes and the bottom of the face. And our mouth is going to go a little bit higher than halfway between the bottom of the nose and the bottom of the face. So now that we have our basic schematic set up, then we can go ahead and switch colors. I'm going to go ahead and draw with black today just to make it a little bit easier for you to see. All right, so the first thing is we want to draw our eyes. So we're going to draw a football shape for both of the eyes. The one on the right is going to be a little bit bigger than the one on the left because the head is turned to a three quarters view. Then we're going to go ahead and draw our eyes. So same thing as always, we want to go ahead and draw our football shape and then our iris, which is the colored part of the eye. We have a small circle for the highlight and then a larger circle, which is going to be the pupil. Now, because the face is turned a little bit, I'm having him look that way, so I'm shifting the whole iris a little bit to the left. Now, he's wearing glasses, so I'm gonna draw an oval around each of his eyes, and again, the one on the left is gonna be a little bit smaller than the one on the right. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect with a little rainbow for the middle of the eyeglasses. Now, normally when we draw a nose and it's facing forwards, we draw a letter U and a letter C and a backward C. But because this nose is turned to a three quarters view, we're gonna draw the tip of the nose a little bit to the left, and then we're just gonna see a little tiny bit of the left side of the nose. We'll see the right nostril and the right side of the nose. So let's go ahead and do that on here. We're gonna draw the left side of the nose then a little bit of the nostril and a little bit of the right side of the nose. And on a front facing face, we would normally draw the middle of the mouth, a letter M for the top lip and a letter U for the bottom lip. Now, because the face is turned, we're only gonna see half of this half of this side of the mouth. So instead, you would draw this half of the mouth exactly the same. So we'd have the middle of our mouth and we'd have the right side of the lips but on the left side it's going to get cut in half so we're basically going to see half of that because the face is turned so let's go ahead and draw that on here now a lot of times people think oh i'm drawing a guy i don't need to draw lips um what i always do is you still need to have lips because they have lips but i just don't complete my lines all right then we have a little bit he's a little bit older so we have some smile lines now, normally on a front facing face, we would see both ears and the ears line up with the eyes and the bottom of the nose. But in this case, the face is turned. So we're only going to see the ear on the right. Again, it goes from the eyes down to, oh, I made my ear very big. <laughs> so you might, I drew it in marker. I'm going to leave it. But um, you can go ahead and make that ear a little bit smaller than I just did. Now, this orange line is our guideline for where the skull would be, but when we draw our hair, we want to draw two hairlines. We're going to have one on the inside, which is called your inner hairline. Now, notice you're going to have a little bit more hair on the right side and a little bit less on the left because, again, he's turned to a three-quarters view. Then we need to draw the outer hairline, and that is always beyond the skull line, even if the guy has very little, just a little bit of hair. Okay, now I just want to make this a little bit more of a realistic face shape. So I'm just going to kind of draw a little bit of a cheek right there and his jawbone. And then same thing going from the ear down to his chin on the right side. Notice that it's very, very close to that original oval, but I just made it look a little bit more realistic. Now for the eyebrows, I'm just going to draw some hair, little hairlines right above the eyeglasses just to indicate because more than likely the eyeglasses are covering up the uh, eyebrows. Okay, now whenever we're drawing a guy, we can kind of get in the same template of drawing the, the rest of the, of the portrait. So we're gonna have our neck now. Normally our neck would be two lines like a number 11 
Um, but in this case, he's turned, so it's going to be a little bit different. And then we would have our collar. So I'm going to just draw it a little bit shifted because he's turned. And then I'm going to have the shoulders. So I can go ahead and draw those now. And then I'm going to have his jacket. So I'm going to go ahead and basically draw a letter V. So I'm going to come down one and two. And you can decide how open or closed you want want that to be. And then I'm going to have the lapels. So I usually like to do um, like out and down like a triangle, out and down like a triangle. So we'll do that. Out and down like a triangle, out and down like a triangle. And then it just depends what kind of style jacket he has. But I'm going to do an arrow and an arrow. Arrow and an arrow. Now. You have to decide if he has a tie on or a collared shirt or whatever he's wearing normally. If we're drawing a president, we want to just draw the same thing every single time, which is going to be our mountain for a collared shirt. And then we're going to have a tie. So we can go just draw a letter U and then out and out to the lapels of the jacket. Now you can make this more fancy inside of there, however you want to do it, but there you go. We're done with our drawing. Now you can color that in however you would like.